Most Phenomenal Inventions Made in China Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. There are so many inventions that change the world and many game-changing inventions were created in China. We are using so many of these inventions in our daily lives without even realizing where they come from. Gunpowder. The creation of gunpowder has been credited to Chinese Taoist alchemists who were trying to find a potion to create human immortality. They made a mixture of sulfur, charcoal, and saltpeter in the hope that they could achieve immortality but instead created gunpowder. This was in 1000 AD and the Chinese generally used the powder for firecrackers and to launch rockets. But as the invention spread to Europe, it was used for cannons and guns instead. Rockets. We mentioned gunpowder in our previous post and how the Chinese invented it and were using it to launch rockets. What we didn't say was that the Chinese also invented the rockets. It's been said that in 228 AD, the Wei state, one of the three major states during the Warring States period of China, were using the gunpowder in torches attached to arrows. It wasn't until the Song Dynasty that the gunpowder was adapted to launch rockets. Mainly used for entertainment purposes, they were later used for military purposes. The Compass. It's not a mental picture we conjure up when we think of sailors sailing the seven seas with their trusty compass, but it was the Chinese that invented this groundbreaking navigational instrument. It was invented during the Qin Dynasty era, 255 BC to 206 BC, but not for the reasons you're thinking of. This little gadget was used by fortune tellers to help make predictions. The originals were made of a spoon-shaped lodestone, which is naturally magnetized mineral that naturally points south. The compass was improved on by the Chinese during the 8th century when a magnetic needle was introduced and it was used on the open waters. Paper. Many would say this is one of the most important inventions of all time, and it existed in China as early as 105 AD. It wasn't widely used until Kai Lun, a eunuch, inventor, and politician of the Han Dynasty, made some huge improvements in the papermaking process. Before paper, bamboo and silk were being used, which was a lot costlier. His papermaking technology spread throughout Europe, and the process was so important that Chinese papermakers were kidnapped to teach this integral skill. Paper money. With the invention of paper comes paper money. The first banknotes were printed during the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907, and that was thanks to the printing block, which we'll share with you shortly. It was becoming too cumbersome and heavy to carry coins around, and so banknotes were created as currency instead printing blocks. One of the most incredible discoveries in China was that of a delicate manuscript that was found in a Tang tomb near Xi'an. This manuscript was one of the first examples of woodblock printing and was done on a piece of hemp paper dating back to roughly 650 to 670 AD. The invention is credited to Chinese inventor Bi Shang and in its most basic form was one big stamp. The original machine was costly and time consuming and only one book could be printed each time as the characters were arranged and carved out in a specific way and couldn't be changed around. It changed over time and it became easier to change and reuse the blocks. Alcohol. We can say a big thanks to the Chinese for this invention that is said to date back 9,000 years. When bits of pottery vases were discovered from that time period, testing revealed that they were utilized to store alcohol. Rice, fruit, and honey made up the ingredients. It wasn't purely for recreational purposes and was used as a spiritual drink by many. Silk. There is no disputing that silk originated in China, and the earliest evidence of this beautiful fabric was 6,000 years ago. It was discovered at Yangshao Cultural Site in Jiajian County, China. There, a silk cocoon was discovered, cut in half, and was thought to be from between 4,000 and 3,000 BC. The Chinese kept the silk weaving process a secret for a thousand years, and some say cocoons were smuggled out of China, bringing silk to other countries. Silk wasn't just used for wearing, but as paper and a guide for social classes, depending on the color the person was wearing. The crossbow. It's easy to assume the crossbow was an invention of the Middle Ages, but it was invented 2.5 millennia ago by the Chinese. It was quite common to see them in China around 500 AD, but some reports suggest that they were around as early as 700 AD. Recent archaeological discoveries indicate that crossbows could have been around even earlier, in 2000 BC. It's believed that they were invented by Qin Shi of the Chu state, and that the first time they were used in battle was at the 341 BCE Battle of Ma Ling between the Qi and Wei states. 
Ti. Chinese legend tells the tale of Shenong, the mythical deity who discovered tea in 2737 BC. Shenong was an herbalist who wanted to help his people, so he wandered through the woods and forests, tested several plants, and made tea leaves. Tea found real fame during the Tang Dynasty, and the oldest living tea tree is alive and well in Lingkang, China. It was first used for medicinal purposes, but the taste was well received that people drank it for pleasure. The exact date of tea being invented is unknown, but we are very grateful because a cup of tea is a firm favorite for many. Mechanical Clock Invented by Yi Jing, the world's first mechanical clock was invented in 725 AD. It was called Water-Driven Spherical Bird's Eye View Map of the Heavens. Water would drip down the clock, which then powered a wheel that made a full turn in 24 hours. It took a few hundred years before Su Song developed a more sophisticated version of the clock called the Cosmic Empire. The abacus. This invention has stood the test of time and still forms part of our curriculum today. It's a fantastic visual tool and helps teach students mental calculations. It was developed around 500 BC by the Chinese, although there is some debate to this. Some historical records show that it might have been developed by the Sumerians around 2700 BC. However, it's widely accepted and credited to the Chinese. It had several tweaks along the way and was perfected during the 1300s. Porcelain. This tough ceramic is made up of fine white clay and was invented during the Han Dynasty, 206 BC to 220 AD. It has a deep white color and is set in the fire at much higher temperatures than what we call China. It was only in 852 AD that porcelain was seen by a foreigner for the first time. For a long time, China supplied Europe, the other parts of Asia, and Africa with porcelain. But during the 1700s, a German physicist managed to recreate the recipe. The first seismograph. This cool invention was created under the Han Dynasty, and earthquakes were frequent in China. Zhang Heng invented the first seismograph, which was an urn with eight dragons on it, each holding a copper ball. Each dragon represented a direction, east, south, west, north, southeast, northeast, southwest, and northwest. The dragons each faced a frog, and when an earthquake was about to happen, the dragon facing the direction of the upcoming quake would spit a ball into the frog's mouth. Although the device couldn't predict when a quake was really going to happen, it could correctly tell you where a quake had already taken place. The umbrella. Traces of umbrellas have come from Egypt, Assyria, Greece, and China. Umbrellas in China date back 3,500 years, and legend says they were created by Lu Ban. He was said to take inspiration from children who used lotus leaves as cover when it rained. He made a flexible framework and covered it with cloth and created the umbrellas as we know them. Soccer. This may come as a surprise, but even FIFA have confirmed that soccer was invented by the Chinese. It was under the Han Dynasty that a game called Kuju was played. Two teams would kick a ball across a field in the hope of scoring a goal. They were not allowed to use their hands. Sounds a bit like soccer, doesn't it? Team numbers could be flexible, and both men and women played in one team. Noodles. You can imagine there is a lot of debate as to where the humble noodle originated from, but there is a record in an ancient book from the Eastern Han Dynasty that proves the Chinese were eating them 4,000 years ago. Not only is there this evidence, but a bowl of noodles, also said to be 4,000 years old, was found. The noodles were well preserved under 10 feet of sediment. Take a moment to say thank you. Acupuncture. There is a very old Chinese book of medicine called Neijing that was published around 100 BC. The book gives details on how acupuncture was used as therapy throughout China. Types of acupuncture needles were also found in Prince Lu Shang's tomb, and he died around 200 BC. So acupuncture has been around for even longer than people realize, and that is thanks to the Chinese. The menu. During the Song era in China, there was a massive increase in business and trade with other countries, and many foreigners headed to China to do business. The Chinese language was very limited for these visitors, so in order to make their lives easier, Chinese restaurants created menus to help the foreigners order food. There's still debate on where the first restaurants came from, although many like to believe it was China too. We can't be certain of that, but at least we're sure of the menu cards. The fork. I know, you're saying, how is that possible when the Chinese have been using chopsticks for centuries? But it's the truth, Chinese invented the fork too. The oldest forks date back to 2400 BC and were discovered in the Qijia ethnic group as well as under the Xia dynasty. They were exported across Europe via the Silk Road. Chopsticks were only invented during the Shang dynasty, which dates to 1700 BC to 1027 BC. The first recording of fork usage in Europe was around 400 AD, roughly 2000 years later. The 
kite. The ancient Chinese knew how to have fun and they invented the kite over 3,000 years ago. They were made from wood and called mu yan, meaning wooden kite. It wasn't really invented for fun and was originally used for military purposes. They were created to send messages, measure distance, and test wind direction. Toilet paper. Another surprising invention by the Chinese is toilet paper. It was the year 851 during the Tang Dynasty when this household essential was originally created. It didn't catch on until the Ming Dynasty between 1368 and 1644. Royalty were using soft sheets of fabric to wipe themselves with. The mass production of toilet paper only began in the 14th century and toilet paper as we know it today was patented in the 19th century. Which of these Chinese inventions surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. The toothbrush. We truly do have a lot to thank the Chinese for, including the toothbrush. This invention came out during the Tang Dynasty and was originally made from pig hairs attached to a bamboo or bone handle. Thank goodness it's evolved since then.